Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Soren, and if you're new here, if you wouldn't mind hitting uh, the like button, it really helps my channel grow, which is in desperate need of growth. So yeah, now that we've gotten that quick thing out of the way, um, oh, just one thing, even if you are subscribed, you still have the ability to uh, hit the like button. I know it's kind of crazy, but it is true. So anyway, um, Back to what I was gonna go into before I got sidetracked. I'm today. I'm talking about one of my favorite subjects and one of the things that I am obsessed with. If you have ever talked to any of my family or friends, they will tell you how obsessed I am with making retirement plans. I have made 12, 13 retirement plans or so. Probably way more than that. More like 20 or 30. Um, all different amounts of money, different jobs jobs, different uh, amounts of pay, different amounts of con excuse me, contribution to my retirement at different times, all kinds of different things, uh, different scenarios. It's very interesting, different living in different places. I'm prepared for the apocalypse equivalent for retirement plans. In any case, uh, today I'm going to be talking about a few interesting things for retiring that I have found during my hours and hours and hours of research um, on retiring and things like that and some interesting things like that. So yesterday I talked about FIRE, uh, Financially Independent Retire Early, and how different people have the, how they follow three main blueprints to do that, or some people have other ones. But aside from starting very successful startups at a young age, those are the main blueprints people like to follow. Going along with that, I have some interesting uh, things that I found. So one thing that a lot of people do when they're retired is they um, invest in things like bonds, which pay a dividend, a set rate for a set amount of time. This way that you can get um, a steady income without having to sell what is called the principal. The principal is basically whatever is making you money. It's usually the asset. So let's say you have a rental house and it pays you however much every month and you want to buy something um, that's really expensive. Some people, this is usually frowned upon by the wealthy or anyone who understands the importance of the principal, <clears throat> um, you would sell the principal, which is the house. This is bad for a couple of reasons. Um, mainly being that then you don't have that cash source or that uh, income source anymore. You've gotten rid of it. And so whatever that income source is the principal. So by selling that, then you don't have that income, which means that it reduces your future ability to buy other things, whether it be an income source, a luxury for yourself, whatever. Um, so yeah, that is that idea. So usually when, because you don't want to sell the principal, it's good to find investments that yield the highest amount of return. And so some interesting things that I've found is, uh, are uh, buying um, franchises, whether it be McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, whatever, Home Depot, even if you have the money. Um, these are all things that being the owner, you can hire a manager and then they will, and then the company your franchise will pay you usually a set rate every year. Dunkin' Donuts is um, one of the most popular for this because they have, because they pay you the most in salary of the small like restaurant type chains um, that are franchised. Uh, they pay you, well, they can pay you $163,000 a year, which is more than most people make in a year. And this, you're not doing any, you, can be doing stuff if you're running it, or you can hire someone for easily forty to sixty thousand dollars a year and still take home um, hundred to one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year by doing basically nothing. So obviously, you can see that's a very solid investment. Uh, some of the drawbacks to this are that um, uh, Duncan, because they give you such good rewards, they would like you to make to open. Um, uh, quite a few of them. Usually, I believe two to three in the first uh, two to three years of opening 
your first uh, franchise, which means that you have to have about, um, uh, I'm just doing the math here, uh, 1.8 to about $5 million um, ready to spend within that period. So if you have a very high income over in the millions, then that's very doable for you. Or if you already have that money laying around, then that's also doable. However, if you don't, this might not be the best option for you. You might want to opt for getting something like rental properties, which may not yield as high of um, rent or income uh, per month or per year, but they're a lot more affordable and usually a lot easier to get into with less money because all you really need is to get um, the, uh, basically put down the down payment for it and whatever um, uh, renovations, if any, needed to that place. So those are two uh, good options. And one that I currently am very interested in and I've been researching right now is uh, this, you're not really retired necessarily, but owning slash starting a inn or like small like boutique hotel, I guess you could say. So uh, I one of my things that I've liked to do pre-COVID is um, go skiing. And uh, now that I live on the East Coast, one of the great, one great place to do that is Stowe, Vermont. And so I've always dreamt of um, owning a hotel or something up there and that would be an income source it would probably it would definitely take some work on my part however i as with the other things i could also hire a manager making this more just in like almost vacation home where i can stay in the winter and have another house in the summer this costs more money i have made uh, many different plans this would be achievable um uh to have a full plan where i retire with seven million dollars at uh, the age of 52 for me. Uh, basically, I've made tons of plans, that I to as I told you. Um, my current one, that's when this one is doable. But uh, it may be a lot sooner, depending on how successful this YouTube channel becomes in the next, in the future months, years, whatever. Yeah, so those are the main, those are a few interesting um, uh, approaches to getting retirement incomes that most people wouldn't think of or um, aren't the most obvious. So I hope you enjoy. If you like more videos like this where I talk about retirement, early retirement, things like that, please smash the like button. And if you're feeling confident today or bold, put that in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow.